Hey, um, I heard that then some of you guys would like to have some Saxa content, so I thought, why not hop into a call with him and ask him some questions about the Dubai LAN, our recent and upcoming DPC games, and how he's feeling in the team. And I also dropped some of the community questions at the end of that video. <laughs> good morning! <laughs> morning, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm great, just woke up, you know. <laughs> Can't imagine. Yeah. Um, how is it to be in the bootcamp with the guys? Uh, feels good. Uh, the atmosphere in the bootcamp is definitely different than playing from home. It's like very... It's very nice. You can be fo focused 100% and enjoyable to play. That's glad to hear that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Dubai LAN. I guess you had a good start with the team since you got the second place there. Yeah, I mean, things were great. I, I didn't really think about the result too much or anything. I just wanted to get along with the guys, like uh, practice our game, see how far we can go and just get better and better. And I think I'm very happy with it, even though we could have won, but uh, to me, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to like, see how far we can get together like uh, as a team. What was your favorite moment at the Dubai LAN? Mm, I guess the games against Boom, even the winner bracket, the first ones, I feel like we lost the first game kind of hard. But then, like, there was no, like, bad atmosphere or anything. We just, we picked ourselves up for the third, second or third game, and we, we played. We just knew we, we can, like, win these games. Like, we, we didn't really care about this first loss too much. We didn't let it get to us. So I'm glad we had that moment. So you had a good um, team mentality in the background. Over yeah, this. for sure. How was it for you coming into this team with the four players who have sticked together for a little bit longer already? Um, It was very smooth, I think. Like, I feel like... They made it really easy for me and they've enabled me so much so far and i mean i mean it's it felt pretty easy like uh, it felt like i just slid right in and it's like i just fit in the team I, the way i want to play a game i feel like they also want to play in a similar way and everything has been smooth so far i think gonna we, we imagine now that you go into stockholm obviously we will go there <laughs> um who would hopefully <laughs> we believe in it who do you think yeah. would be the toughest opponent there uh it's like lgd boom and spirit if they get to go i don't know how the situation is right now okay same um who do you think of out of our dpc region who else would go there we lock in ourselves obviously so three other teams uh, okay uh i think og is probably gonna go and uh i think the gladiators will go mm -hmm. and the last one <laughs> Either like LGD, I mean Liquid or Secret, I don't know which one. Okay. I feel like between uh, the Gladiators, Liquid or Secret, like it's between those three, like which two of them are gonna go, so... Okay, you, uh, mentioned, you mentioned Secret, that makes me light smooth to my next question. What the hell was that serious against them? Uh, I feel like we were better prepared than them and we had like... We knew what we wanted to do and I feel like... I don't know, I just... They don't think they expected uh what happened to happen i feel like they were kind of like hoping it would be like a the liquid series or something and i don't know i think they got surprised a bit i think <laughs> they, they are better than that for sure yeah next up against team nigma or nigma galaxy any thoughts on them what do you think how that series will be i mean nigma it's like always a coin flip some days they're like you no know, one of the better teams in the world and not another day they're like they're, i'm not sure what they're doing so I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll for the for the best Nigma they, yeah. they show and yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> okay. Um is there anything about Nigma that like scares you or that you have a huge respect for like a hero or any playstyle or something? I mean I respect their playstyle, like they are very good at brawling and like picking you up off when you're like you you lose your like a uh, your guard or your momentum and it's like you don't expect it and their IO is still one of the best. We'll see. I mean, they have, they have a, like a lot of good strategies in their invoker. They just need to be prepared. We give them the respect they deserve, so we'll see. Okay, I have I have a few community questions for you. I promise they won't be bad. Uh, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> Are you ready to face OG? It's the opponent after Nygma. Um, of course. I'm ready to face anybody. doesn't really matter. You know, I've played with the team before. It's I just treat everybody the same way. Okay. And the other question is, I have no idea about Attack on Titan, but someone told me you're an Attack on Titan fan. 
And that person also want to know who is your favorite character? Uh, uh, I guess it used to be Levi, but now I feel like it's Aaron. I haven't watched the last two episodes, so no spoilers, but <laughs> I don't know. I just like the character development this guy went through from like being like the uh, main character and the hero and whatever and to what he is now. So I just like that. I, I have no idea about that. I, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what <laughs> you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And the last community question was, what made you decide to join Tundra? I mean, it was a pretty easy decision. I feel like they're a really good team and they, they know what they're doing with the game. And I feel like more so than anything, I feel like I fit in here. I feel like, you know, OG, I didn't fit in as much. And we had a lot of like uh, disputes about how to play the, the game. And I don't know, just disagreements about like o overall gameplay. And I feel like that doesn't really happen here. I feel like it's, we see the game in a similar way. So that's why it's pretty easy for me. So you also have a great team communication when it's about whatever new strategies. Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like we were able to grow and adapt pretty easily. And we learn and nobody has like an ego or anything. Everybody's like very open-minded, so it feels good. What was your reaction when in the last game against Secret, Nine decided to play Coddle? Was it his decision or was it someone of you saying, hey, do you want to play Coddle in this game? I think it might have been me that suggested it, actually. <laughs> I mean, I've seen this hero like in the patch, like it's pretty strong and uh, I play it myself, so I, I see sometimes the moments for it and he's like one of the best at it, maybe even the best. So yeah, definitely, you have to go for it right there, if you see a moment for it. Is there anything that you would like to tell our community and your fans? Uh, yeah, thanks for the support uh, over all these times and uh, hope you will support me in Tundra more and yeah, I will try to bring you some good games.